a man called John Neal who's been working on the Welsh mental approach to this match. And Wales need to be careful here. They need to stay alert because Italy are driving with enormous purpose. A try to take the lead. A game of patience. And it's another test of that Welsh defence and Popham again this standing is, alone. This is looking ominous. Looking ominous. It's got to be aggressive yeah, defence yeah. now by Wales. They're just lining up. The fours are going to take it Let in again. Andrea Zani waits to the right. Here is Zani, forwards, bind on behind him, that's the try line. All of Wales have Seven hearts six, in yeah, mouths. There it is, there it is, Well, they dropped it. Let go, Wales! No, they stay there. The prize of an unprecedented second successive win in the Six Nations is up for grabs. Not yet, not yet. Release Wales on the floor. Troncon. Now he releases the backs. Pairs little chip ahead, and the ball is there for Bergamasco! <laughs> Maro Bergamasco He's has gone. nicked it at the death. Have a look, please, Jeff. We are going to have a look please with our me. television match official, please Jeff please Warren. Please. But they have never heard noise like this at the Stadio Flaminio. I wonder what he's looking at. Is he looking at the grounding Aussie offside? Because, by the body language, he knows he has scored. Well, he's grounds it, there's no question over that. Chris, can you hear me? Yep. I can confirm the try. Thank you very much, try score. <laughs> Two Englishmen combine to send thousands and thousands of Italians into rapture. Yes, Our Welsh hearts have been torn apart. Their best game of the championship, but the win has been snatched right at the death. Well, we saw what happened. In Cold Park with Ireland and France. The same has to happen now for Wales. There is clever, clever play. Lovely kick. The chase is there. It's very difficult to, to defend that. Three minutes to go. Italy 23, Wales 20. A penalty to draw for the second time in 12 months. A try to snatch it back. What an outstanding finish to this match. Restart taken in by Mirko Bergamasco and, well, Mauro Bergamasco. A try after 19 seconds in Edinburgh. Three minutes before the final whistle here. No, there's a chance, there's a chance. Man of the match. Well, it's got to be that guy there. Man of the match. Well, it's got to be that guy there. My RBS, man of the match, Sergio Parise. I think he's been immense today. He has been awesome, carried the ball, defended. He has been instrumental in the, in the performance of the Italian forward, which could get them this result. But a minute and a half to go. 90 seconds to save themselves and look at Dwayne Peel going. This is Jonathan Thomas. One last big effort demanded from the men in red. The win means so much to both teams. Hook to Gareth Thomas. What a story that would be. A drop goal would draw them level, remember? Well, I think they will go for the win. The opportunities here, forwards against Box. Shane Williams. Uh, 
thought there was a little bit of crossing there. They were lucky there. Patience. Now they've got to keep keep the ball, keep some patience. Great Thomas, tackle, enormous Parise. tackle by Parise, the man of the match. Release it, release. Drove Thomas back, but he had the wherewithal to make sure the ball came back on the red side. This is Mark Jones, scored some wonderful tries this season. Could do with any old try now. Oh, and it's a penalty to Wales. Oh, now. No, this is a call. The this draw is there to be taken. Will they settle for the draw, or are they going to go for broke and go for the try that would win it? Ten seconds now, Jack. There are ten seconds left, and well, James Hook said, have we got time to go for the line-out? Chris White said yes. Well, we'll see if it's the right decision. Last, this is the last throw of the dice. Time is off. I have time. Oh, and that's it! The whistle has gone, and that will cause consternation in Wales. I'm sure Wales were convinced that there was time to have the line-out. They decided to go to touch because of that, and that's the reason for the fury from Gareth Thomas. Chris White's explaining the decision, but Wales have the opportunity to go for the penalty that would have got them the draw. They thought they had time to go for the line-out. And as a result, Italy have the win. An enormous question mark at the end of a pulsating game. But take nothing away from the Azzurri. A large slice of history for the first time ever in the Six Nations. They have won back-to-back -back matches. They won in Edinburgh. And now, in the most dramatic of circumstances, they have won here in Rome. We will hear much, much more about those closing few seconds, though. Italy 23, Wales 20, and in a week's time they will be playing England in Cardiff to avoid the wooden spoon.